the finger. Jordan. Hey folks, welcome back to NBA Basement, the show with classic NBA material. In today's video we will take you on a journey to the golden age of NBA basketball. The toughest league, the toughest era, and the best basketball. So sit back and enjoy the ride. ...is the tempo of the game by the Bulls to try and get some fast break opportunities. Jordan found his way in once again and has his second basket. Michael Jordan gets by Dennis Johnson. The other Celtics are going to clog up the lane, it looks like. What should Jordan do in that case? Look, either put it off the glass and hope that one of his freer players can get an offensive rebound. Orlando Woolrich, long range. Have Bird guard one of the firepower men for Chicago. It's too much of a burden for Bird, and it's a smart adjustment by Casey Jones, in my opinion. In the first half of the game against the Celtics Thursday, Jordan trying to fake Bird, can't do it. Hits the jumper, but Bird played pretty well defensively against Jordan there. Michael Jordan has eight points and is the game high score. Going baseline. Michael Jordan, the basket good and a foul. Fantastic quickness going to the Dennis baseline. Johnson saying you can have the baseline. They're hoping that Parrish will be able to get in there and at least intimidate him. From the LA Clippers, there's a much more solid lead today than it was in the previous ballgame. Bird can convert on a good feed from Walton. Walton's one of the best big men passers in the game. We'll keep you posted on that game. Jordan goes up, ball slapped away, but Jordan winds up with it and draws the foul. And Dennis Johnson that time tried to force him to his here and led his team in. Virtually every category, including rebound. Woolridge against McHale, gets a piece of it. Walton quickly back to McHale. Jordan picks up McHale and takes the ball away from him. That was a pickpocket move if there ever was one. And Jordan goes up. And the blocking foul against the Celtics. Normally the Indiana Pacers. Spurs on the Chicago Bulls. Gene Banks. Define roles when the Celtics had their problems around Christmas. They sure didn't. That was the Christmas massacre, but the Jordan. troops are back. Jordan from the Warriors has been nice goal. Jordan against Dennis Johnson. Jordan. 3.15 to go. Jordan inside the Warriors. Basket good and a foul. And that looked like a Celtic play. When he gets in the paint, remember, try and angle him off. 13 on the shot clock, Jordan. Inside to Woolridge, spins around, basket counts, and a foul. Setting a screen, Johnson trying to fight through it on a switch. Bird guards Jordan, and Jordan hits the jumper anyway. Six on the shot clock, so there's a three-second differential. Jordan with a fake shot, and draws the foul. Draw the foul. Mike Tebow. Julius Irving. Pretty good people to be compared. We asked some of the Celtic guards their observations on how to play Michael Jordan. Uh, foul him and hope someone else can come in and do the job. You know, if, if the team can't stop him, maybe he'll shoot himself to death. I don't know. I guess you give a call to Clint Eastwood because uh, there's not much you can do at that point. <laughs> Just let him go. <laughs> Banks working against Bird on the post-up. McHale tried to double team, and Woolridge misses again. Here's Michael Jordan. Basket will be good and a foul and 25 for Michael Jordan in the game. That three fouls, maybe they're trying to save him, but... Chicago with it with Jordan with nine and a half. Long range, Jordan hit, and the Bullets have regained the lead over Philadelphia, 79-75. The Celtics, meanwhile, have scored six in a row. Jordan is eight for eight from the line. Jordan, I think. He's strong, they didn't overuse him in the against Ainge. 79-75, Boston. Open is Macy, and Macy oh, he made it. He's looking for it. In the tempo away from the Celtics, trying to Michael Jordan right now. Ten points in this period for Ames, and what a great shot, and a basket and a foul. You talk about Bird's sheer determination at certain points of a game. Michael Jordan has those same qualities. Fourth block this game. Jordan against Ames. Hey guys. Now while you are watching this classic NBA content, please be so kind and subscribe to our channel and click the notification button. It only takes a second for you, but for us this means the world. Thank you very much. And now let's continue with the best of NBA basketball. Jumper, Gooey Bird. Bulls with it, trailing by one. Minute and a half gone by in the fourth period. And a foul. Jordan's 36. Now 37. They, so much a percentage of, of the offense. Boston by one. Chicago has led 
virtually all the way. Jordan banks it in, and Jordan with 40 points. Jordan working against Ames now. And Jordan. To Michael Jordan. The two guards defending against Jordan. Game of ISOs right now. Isolation. They double team now. Walton has come out to meet Jordan. Jordan trying to use his quickness, and it works. Michael Jordan with 44 now in the ball game. And Walton afraid to foul that time. Backed off Jordan a little bit. Walton with five. Walton trying to double now, picking up Jordan. Jordan isolated one on one. They come out. Basket, no. No basket. The foul before. And Bill Walton is fouled out of the ball game, I believe. To the wide open Danny Ainge, who's had a hot hand here. Jordan cuts the Celtic lead to two, and he has 46 points. 4-11 remaining. Bird feeding Harris. Block. A block. It was for the Bulls. Jordan. Looks like lately the Bulls have been going to Jordan like they did at the start of the last game. Here he is, the move and the basket. And it's a one-point game to Stan Hallback urges his team on. 108, 107, that much time to go in the fourth. Jordan beating Corzine. Hook shot, good. The 76ers are one and one now with their victory over Washington. Michael Jordan has been a sensational show again, coming only the second team to beat the Celtics in the Garden this year. Harris, McHale, offensive rebound. Knocked out of bounds. Celtics wanted goaltending. Jordan knocked it out of bounds. Bird fires it up blindly. Harris loses it to Oakley. But here's Bird being double teamed. I think he was really hoping he'd get a foul call that time. Parrish has the rebound and a nice knock away by Jordan. That's the change the Celtics made. Michael Jordan working against Dennis Johnson. Clock running down. Three seconds. Three point shot. No good. And a foul. Late sweep. A foul against Kevin McHale has been called by Middleton with no time showing on the clock. Kevin McHale can't believe it. Kevin McHale has been called for the foul on Michael Jordan from eight feet beyond the three-point line. I have to see it myself. Here's Kevin coming all the way, and we didn't see what actually happened, but players do fake the foul. He can tie it up here and send the game in overtime. Overtime in game two of our best of five. Situation becomes major now as we have a slew of players with five. Celtics control. Individuals, single game effort in playoff history. Long range, Jordan hits it. Celtics with the best record in the league, 67 and 15. They're this close. Three on the shot clock. Jordan, basket, good, and a foul's out with 15 points. 59. He's got to get rid of it. Here's Jordan. Jordan with a jump shot. Jordan misses the shot. Two seconds to go, and the Celtics call a time. He'll get a chance to win it. Ainge will inbound. Bird has it. One second to go. If it counts, it's over. And we go to second overtime. And Woolridge will jump again, and they've done this before. Middleton will toss it up five minutes. He should have been tired an hour and a half ago. Ainge guarding Michael Jordan. Jordan goes up with the shot and hits it and has 61 points to tie Elgin Baylor's all-time single-game playoff record with eight on the clock. Jordan oh. ties the game. Oh, boy. 63 points, and you're looking at an all-time record. Oh, boy. Michael Jordan. No one has ever scored more points in a single playoff game in NBA history than Michael Jordan. And the Celtics will have it with four seconds to go. And a hard-fought victory for the Boston Celtics to take a two to nothing lead over Chicago in their best of five. So that was it for today's video. We hope you had fun watching this classic NBA content of the golden age of NBA basketball. Make sure you check out our channel for more videos like this one. Hope to see you next time on NBA Basement.